What's going on guys? I'm Jiffy Nano and welcome back to another Theorycraft guide for Borderlands 3. We're doing Amara the Siren today. I've got a build based around Bloodbound from Destiny 1 where you're going to connect all your all your enemies. You're going to shoot one of them and they're all going to explode and catch on fire and all kinds of crazy stuff. Also, if you ever want to help me make builds, stop by my Twitch channel. Link will be in the descrip description. Uh, I try to stream every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday and Sunday from around 2 p.m. EST till I usually get off. Also, this Friday, as of as of recording this, this Friday is the launch of Borderlands 3. As of recording this, I've got about three days, and uh, I will be doing a giant, super long marathon for Borderlands 3. So come check that out. Come go check out my Twitch channel. I'll be there all day Borderlands oh, for Borderlands 3. I've got another video coming out later announcing my little event. So hope to see you guys there. But yes, okay, so we're going to go right into this build. So this build for Amara, I haven't done one for Amara yet, and I wanted to get one out real quick. I have a, uh, I have another flak build that I want to talk about, but I probably won't end up talking about that um, till later after uh, the game comes out. But we're going to do an Amara build because I've yet to do one for her. So we're going to go, this is a, bl this is Bloodbound. Everyone's doing like elemental, elemental like craziness with her uh, mystical assault and I wanted to be a little different so I'm doing this instead. This is going to be a focus more on it's going to be like what's her name Maya from Borderlands 2 but on steroids essentially. So for her action skill I'm going to take phase grasp or we're going to take a different version of phase grasp, grasp and I'll get down there when I get down there I'll talk about it. But we're going to have phase grasp and most of our most of our stuff is going to be in fist of the elements. So the first skill you want is Anima. So Amara's status effects deal increased damage over time and have increased duration. Her action skill status effects deals further increased damage. So this is going to stack well because we're going to use the shock damage. We're going to use regular chakra, I think they call it. Chakra. And uh, that's going to, your status, sh shock is going to deal 40% extra damage. And then everything else is going to get 20% extra damage. And... 100% duration. So all the all the status effect durations are going to double, which is super cool, super strong. And this is this so this whole build is all about throwing elemental damage everywhere. So everyone might be wondering why I didn't take infusion. Converts a portion of damage dealt by Amara's weapons to her action skill element. You're going to want to use mostly Malawan weapons with this build to just try and get status effects which all the Malamon Malawan weapons are already elemental and converting that damage while it could be helpful I didn't think it was worth the investment when I could be dealing more damage so um, yeah that's why I didn't take infusion infusion is cool and if you wanted to use things like Jacob's weapons it would definitely help with Jacob's and stuff like that but in the uh, anything on non-elemental it would help with but I, I think anima is going to be the better one to go with Next skill you want is Tempest. Amara deals increased elemental damage. Shock damage is further increased. This will stack with Anima, which means shock damage is going to get 30% extra damage plus 20% extra damage. And then if you're using Chakra, it's going to get 40% extra damage. So all that damage reduction that people that um, enemies are going to get for not have for you know, being resistant to shock doesn't fucking matter at all. So that's pretty badass. So we're gonna be shocking the crap out of everyone. That's why I'm still on chakra. And you're gonna want you're gonna want all your weapons to have a variety of elements so you can switch back and forth and break shields and not that you need to break shields, but you know, take down armored enemies and stuff like that. But this this is gonna make shock damage pretty stupid. Next thing you want is wildfire. Whenever Amara applies a status effect to an enemy, this ha it has a chance to spread to nearby enemy. There's a 40% chance that every time you apply a status effect, it'll spread to other enemies. This is kind of what sp like spurned this build for me, is I'm like, wow, okay, cool, you can spread status effects everywhere. What else can do that? And that's why I'm using ties that bind. We'll get to that in a second. Next thing you want is Dread. Amara's gun damage is increased for a few seconds after an enemy is grasped. Whenever any player kills a grasped enemy, their current weapon is instantly reloaded. It's 50% gun damage and it lasts for 8 seconds. This is pretty nice. This is pretty similar to what Maya did in Borderlands 2 where you would deal extra damage to the grasped... Gra um, the, uh, what, is, what, did they, what did she call it? Uh, phase locked enemies. Um, this is another point that I wanted to go down. You, you need to go into this um, to get to these. Indiscriminate Amara's bullets that damage enemies have a chance to ricochet and deal de decreased damage to other enemies. 
ricochet chance and damage are increased if the target is currently affected by phase grasp or stillness of mind. So the idea here is you're going to grasp an enemy. It's going to you're going to shoot the enemy that you grasped. It's going to ricochet 60% of the time and only getting a 25% damage reduction. And then everything's going to catch on fire from wildfire or get shocked but from wildfire. And you're going to be doing lots of damage from these two and you're doing 15% extra damage to everyone. So, you know, if you shoot one guy, everything's everything starts to die. That's 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 the that's the idea here. So next, Deep Well, Amara gains increased magazine size with elemental weapons. This game, this is just nice. Also, I needed to put an extra point in to get down to the next level. So we're going to talk about the action skill augment that I took this time. Action skill version that I took. Um, ties that bind. This is what I was talking about when it was similar to Bloodbound from Destiny. In Destiny 1, when the Night Stalker tree uh, became a thing, you had this void bow that when you shot an arrow, it would tether a bunch of enemies together. And one of the things you could use was Bloodbound, where if you hit one enemy, all the enemies that got tethered would all take a portion of that damage. And it was super cool for taking down t taking down like big groups of enemies. And this is almost the exact same thing. So it ties the bind. Amara summons a giant fist that burns the ground and locks the target enemy in a place for a few seconds so it grasps them. Enemies near the grasp target are linked and any damage dealt to the linked to the, to a linked target is shared between all other linked targets. So no matter who you shoot, everyone else who is linked is going to take 35% of the damage dealt. It lasts for eight. It cools down as 18 seconds. And, uh... The, the immune damage is 34. I don't know what that means, but, you know. So you're going to want to grasp an enemy. You're going to want to shoot the enemy you grasp, and all the things that got linked with them are going to take a bunch of damage because you've got crazy shock damage from these two. You got things that are catching them on fire and shocking them. You got 15% extra damage from that. Your bullets are ricocheting in between all of them. Boom. So much just carnage from one target. Also, we're going to take Allure. Allure is an action skill effect. Amara's action skill creates a singularity that pulls enemies in. So this is just so when you grasp an enemy, everything gets pulled closer to it so you can uh, link more dudes all at once. So that's that's why I took Allure and uh, ties the bind. Next thing you want is, a, is Sustainment. Amara gains lifesteal whenever she deals elemental damage with her weapons. This is super similar to, I believe, is Elemental Empathy on Krieg where he would take 20 he would g gain back 20 percent or 15 percent of all elemental damage dealt back as health this is super strong especially if you can find a shield that has nova shields if she's running around enemies are nearby she's shooting this this was super strong on Krieg and I and she is way more versatile than Krieg so it's gonna be super strong on her and of course the capstone forceful expression Amara's guns deal bonus elemental damage based on her action skill element bonus elemental and damage is 18% of damage dealt. Now a lot of people might go okay so bonus elemental damage so you're going to get shock and whatever element you're getting with what's that what's the difference between that and a few infusion infusion converts a portion of the damage so I believe it goes up to 40 or something like that 40% of the damage turns into elemental damage that just converts it this is Almost 20% bonus damage on top of the damage you're already dealing. That's why this is better than infusion. You'll be doing two elements at once, depending on what you're what you use what element you use you're shooting at the time. And it's 18% more. So now we're gonna go down the brawl tree. We're gonna put five points into clarity. Amara constantly regenerates health. The lower health, the more powerful the regeneration. After using her action skill, this bonus is doubled for a few seconds. So after using your action skill, you get 10% of missing health per second for five seconds, and then 5% of missing health per second um, up to, anyway, for five seconds. This is good for survivability. Um, uh, any kind of health regen, especially that's just passive, is really, really helpful. So this will top you off in between fights. This will help keep you alive during fights, and uh, overall it's... It's really decent, but if it it would be better if it was max health per second, not missing health per second. The fact that it's missing health per second makes it a little a little underwhelming because it that means the less the less damage you take, the slower your health regen because of scaling and all that. So uh, yeah, so I mean take it because it's health regen. Next thing, personal space. Amara's weapons deal bonus damage based on target distance to a target the closer the target the greater the bonus so if you're point blank you're gonna get 30 percent 36 percent of bonus bonus damage dealt uh so the farther away the less you're gonna get at that 
We're going to put four points into helping hands. Where'd the little icon go? Four points into helping hands. For a few seconds after using our action skill, Amara's arms remain active and grant her damage reduction. So you get 35% 30 damage reduction for 15 seconds here. Um, this is I only put four in here because I want to take a couple skills farther down. And uh, damage reduction, 35% damage reduction is pretty sizable. And you just grasp somebody and it pulls everyone in. And you're going to have to get close to deal bonus damage. So that 40, that 35% damage reduction is going to be, it's going to come in clutch. So next thing you want is mindfulness. Whenever Amara takes damage, she gains a stack of mindfulness. For every, uh, uh, huh. for every stack of mindfulness, Amara gains improved shield regeneration delay and movement speed. Stacks delay after a few seconds. Decay after a few seconds. I think this one over here gives you movement speed on a kill. And I was like, okay, cool. But this one, you just have to take damage to get movement speed and better shield reg regeneration delay. And you don't have to get a kill, But it, and it does two things. So I just felt like mindfulness gave you more for three points than vigor does, which is why I took mindfulness instead. Uh, next, one with nature, Amara gains max health, increased max health and elemental damage resistance to, to her action skill element. So you are going to take 40% less damage to whatever action skill element you have which i did have shocker in here but i must have fucked it up but so shock damage whatever you have slotted so you it could be literally enemy any element any of the base four i think so you got shock fire and corrosive base three isn't there a fourth one explosive anyway this will just give you damage reduction to elemental damage which is which is nice 40 percent damage 40 percent uh, elemental like shock damage reduction is pretty 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 big deal especially when you're going to combine it with helping hands and the fact that like you know shock damage is going to be a big deal in this game and people have said that shields are way more prevalent they're way, they mean way more than in borderlands 2 where in borderlands 2 it would take like two shots your shield would shatter in borderlands 3 shields are a big deal and they're 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 going to be the base you're 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 actually they're actually going to be your first line of defense there so getting shock damage reduction is super powerful. Next, we're going to do do one to others. Whenever an enemy damages Amara, she automatically throws an energy orb back, dealing action scale elemental damage. This, scored has, ugh, this skill has a short cooldown. This is just so when you're running around getting hit, you're dealing damage still. Um, this might not be worth it in the end. It depends on how much damage this actually ends up dealing. You might want to just throw this into helping hands to get that extra 5% damage reduction. But uh, it's something I, like, it seems neat, and dealing damage just because you took damage can be super powerful, so we'll see. Also, this is another big one. Uh, Guardian Angel, when Amara enters fight for her life, she immediately gains a second wind, restoring her health and creating, creates an action skill elemental Nova that may knock back enemies. This skill has a long cooldown. So essentially every two minutes, you when you go down you can just immediately get back up with full mat with full health and there is an elemental nova that happens so if you go down you get more damage you get back up immediately and you don't have to worry about it so every two minutes you just get a free life so yeah the idea behind this build is you're going to run into your run into your enemies you're going to grasp you're going to grasp a dude with uh with ties that bind it's going to know it's going to create a singularity pull a bunch of guys in the middle into them you're going to shoot the guy that's grasped it's going to bounce around it's gonna ricochet and shit. It's gonna catch other people on fire and like shock the crap out of them. You're gonna be gaining. You're gonna be you know life stealing. You're gonna be doing all that. Then you're gonna have damage reduction, more damage reduction, all that, all that crazy stuff. And then if you die, you can get right back up. So in theory, this 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 build could be really good for dealing with crowds. Bosses not necessarily, not necessarily good for, but crowds for sure. If you enjoyed the video, don't forget that like button and let me know in the comments what you want to see when I start playing Borderlands 3. Do you want me to upload my entire however 20 some hour playthrough is? Do you want do you want to see that? And um, if you want to see more videos like this, consider subscribing and clicking the bell so YouTube actually shows you my lump, my uploads. And like I said earlier, if you want to talk more Borderlands or just enjoy my content or you want to you want to hang out during the Borderlands 3 launch, check out my Twitch channel. Link is in the description. Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one.